Back in 1985, we were really wanting to get into farming and, and it was the, the passion for farming that uh, was really driving why we started Delamere Dairy. We set off with, initially bought three goats and very quickly built up the numbers um, so that we had a small herd that we um, used the milk to make cheese, which we did in the kitchen, um, literally bought a book, uh, went on a course to make cheese and we sold that in the local area. You will now find Delamere Dairy in the biggest multiples right down to, to the little corner independent shops. We are privately owned a family run business. Uh, we pride ourselves not only on our heritage, but on our farming uh, and also the uh, relationships we have with our other farmers in the UK. We sell our milk to Delamere Dairy um, and that's been a refreshing change to previously when we sold our cow's milk to a multinational company. Um, there's much more of a two-way dialogue with Delamere whereas before there was a, only a one-way dialogue and that was them telling us what we were going to do, whereas uh, Delamere definitely listened to us as producers. It wasn't long before we, we outgrew the, the, the farm uh, in the middle of the forest and we were fortunate enough to get tenancy on a, on a larger farm in Nutsford and that gave us uh, great scope to expand the business as the demand for goat's milk increased. Delamere now takes milk from uh, 10 farms across the UK, uh, stretching from uh, Skipton down to uh, Dorset. Um, we process on average about 10 million litres a year, which is continually growing. Um, and uh, whereas people predominantly know us for our goat's milk, uh, we also uh, process and make uh, butter and yogurts and cheese, uh, supplying all the major supermarkets across the UK, uh, from uh, Morrison's down to the, and our smaller customers like Booth's Supermarket, which is a more of a regional store. It's been a very re rewarding product to, to be involved with um, because we get so much consumer feedback um, from, from um, people who purchase the goat's milk. Um, the benefits speak for themselves. Um, they're not always um, uh, clinically tested, but um, anecdotally we know that the digestive qualities of goat's milk are far superior to, to other milks. Um, we know that it isn't mucus forming and therefore helps a lot of um, respiratory conditions. Um, we know that the milk proteins are different in makeup to cow's milk proteins and therefore do doesn't trigger some of the um, intolerance and allergy problems that cow's milk proteins does. Goat's milk has a wonderful, uh, light, refreshing, slightly sweet taste. Uh, it should be used exactly the same as cow's milk uh, in all your favourite recipes, in cereal, in teas and coffees. Great on salads, pizzas. I also add it to on toppings, you know, on like a cottage pie. I add it on top and you get melted goat's cheese, it's really nice. Taste-wise, some people say it's an acquired taste. I acquired it immediately. I like the taste. Our business has developed over the years, um, as well as the goat's milk. We also decided to move into uh, the pet milk market. Uh, in 2004, we uh, developed a, a product for uh, pets, uh, which derived from many, many customers contacting us about uh, how they used our goat's milk for uh, orphan puppies or uh, kittens. We've also moved into other speciality areas. We supply around 80% of the sterilised cow's milk in the UK. As well as that, we do fresh Channel Island milk coming from Jersey and Guernsey herds. Our interest in speciality milks has um, led us down um, other routes as well um, and um, our soya milk now is uh, making an impact on the market. In October 2011 we uh, opened our first overseas office in Hong Kong uh, uh, to be able to uh, move and sell products into the uh, uh, Far East market, the likes of China and Hong Kong and Singapore. Uh, we also have a great presence in the Middle East. We've been very lucky to be part of the development of this industry and, and, and where it's yet to go is, is, is so exciting and, and, and such a lot to do.